friends, I'm super excited because in this video, I'm making a super tasty breakfast prep for easy fat loss. lost 130 pounds and kept it off for seven years. And at the beginning of my weight loss journey, I skipped breakfast a lot. Anytime I did that, I set myself up for failure because by the end of the day, I would be so hungry, I would end up overeating and go way off track. Having tasty breakfast prepped and ready to go, like the one I'm gonna show you, was what helped me look forward to what I was eating, have something ready to grab and go, stay on track, and get the results I wanted and set my day up for success. I had a craving for monster cookies and I decided to put it in protein pancake form and show you this super cool breakfast prep and then at the end I'll tell you the calories and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put with it, some fruit and some bacon. So I'll take you along the whole process. The first thing we're gonna do is make oat flour using quick oats and the ones I'm using are the Walmart Great Value Quick Oats, one and a half cups. I'm gonna pour it into my blender and then I'm going to blend it until it becomes a powdery flour-like consistency. Okay, so it took me about a minute to make the oat flour. It worked, it's ready to go. For anyone that doesn't know, a monster cookie contains oats, peanut butter, M&Ms, and chocolate chips. And I'm gonna make this pancake using healthy ingredients and lower calorie version of a monster cookie. And boost the protein. And boost the protein so that it's healthy, it's tasty, and it satisfies my monster cookie per, my monster cookie craving. So we've got our flour and this is the oat part of the monster cookie. I'm basically just gonna put all the ingredients in here and then blend it and see what happens. For the peanut butter part, I'm using powdered peanut butter. This is the PB and me and that's two tablespoons mixed with a little over two tablespoons of water. I wanted it kind of runny, like almost like butter consistency, like melted butter. So I'm gonna pour this in, and then I need half a cup of plain Greek yogurt. This is the 2% Liberté, a teaspoon of vanilla, three large eggs, To make it more peanut buttery, but also to bump up the protein, I'm using a scoop of protein powder. We are sponsored by Huddled Harder Than Last Time Protein Powder, and this is the vanilla peanut butter. You can use, of course, vanilla, any vanilla, but if you really want the peanut butter to be kicked up a notch, vanilla peanut butter. This is one scoop or 35 grams, so I'll put that in there. And the link for the protein powder is down below. They have a really cool flavor. They do, um, like Lucky Marshmallow, Strawberry Cheesecake. In went three teaspoons of baking powder, and then I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of low calorie syrup for the sweetener part, and that is it. Over here, I will fold these in I'll once. show them what sweetener, I mean what uh, syrup. It's the Steve's Maples from Walmart. So here goes the experiment. I'm gonna make up the batter. I'm just gonna blend this on high and um, see what happens. And then we'll fold in the other part of the monster cookie, which is a tablespoon of the M&M mini baking bits and a tablespoon of the mini chocolate chips. I love the minis because a little goes a long way, so we're gonna get the craving of the monster cookie with the chocolate chips and the M&Ms, but do it in a lower calorie way. So I'm gonna blend this on high and see what happens. Okay, so it's blending up pretty good, but there's a bit of flour stuck at the bottom, so I'm just gonna take a spatula and stir it around a bit and then blend it until it gets really nice and smooth and perfect batter for pancakes. Okay, we've got it all blended up. I did take a, a knife and a spatula and make sure it was all blended from the very bottom. Now I'm gonna fold this in and I have some pans preheating on medium heat. I'm gonna spray them with cooking spray and then scoop my pancakes in a quarter cup 
and um, my goal is to make eight pancakes, two per meal for four meals. So again, one tablespoon of mini M&M's baking bits and one tablespoon of mini chocolate chips. I'm gonna fold this in and then I'm gonna get ready to scoop those pancakes up, cutie. All right, the pans are ready. I'm gonna put, scoop a quarter cup of pancake batter on to the pan. Okay, and we're gonna cook these in, you know, two to three minutes until there's bubbles on the top, and then we're gonna flip them. All right, so they're starting to get a couple of bubbles here, and it looks lovely. Whoopsie, wow, slidey. We're gonna flip that. So that was about two minutes. Oh my goodness, Slidey Bear, come on. There you go, cutie. All right, another minute and they're ready to be taken off and we'll put some more pancakes on them. Okay, so this is what the pancakes look like. I was able to get eight, plus I had enough batter left over to make a small one for Sassy and I to try out, yeah. a taster. And I've got my containers here ready to go. I got these from Walmart, if any anyone um, wants to know. And I've got half a cup of frozen strawberries in each because I think it's gonna taste delicious with the pancakes. So these are the ones I use, the differently delicious from great value. And then I cooked up some bacon and I like to use the naturally smoked bacon from great value from Walmart. It's the reduced sodium. If you want, you can use turkey bacon. I sometimes do, but um, I like to use the regular as well because I find it keeps me full. So I have one slice per day and I cooked them a couple minutes per side. I didn't overcook them because I'm gonna reheat them every morning. So there's my bacon, that'll go in the fridge. These meals will stay fresh for four days. There are four meals, so they can stay in the fridge. If you wanna freeze a couple, that's cool. You just reheat it in the microwave the next day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two pancakes per meal. And so we've, we're gonna have a slice of bacon, half a cup of fruit, and two pancakes per breakfast. And like I said, there's four days worth there. And then um, when I eat it in the morning, I'll probably put in the microwave, I like the fruit microwave too, about a minute. And then I top it with a tablespoon of the Steve's, the same low calorie syrup that I used in the batter. So this is how I do it. This is how I was able to get the weight off and keep it off. And I'm getting in the best shape of my life right now and making tasty meals that satisfy my cravings like monster cookies by doing it by using healthy ingredients like the eggs, the Greek yogurt, the oats, and bumping up the protein to help me stay full really helps me look forward to what I'm eating, but also puts you know a healthier spin that'll keep me full because it's got slow digesting foods in it ingredients, and I'm gonna tell you the calories, so per pancake, um, it's 137 calories, 4.3 grams of fat, nine and a half grams of protein for one pancake, and 14 grams of carbs. And for the entire meal, so again, for a slice of the bacon, the strawberries, and the two pancakes, it's 444 calories, 23 grams of fat, 22 grams of protein, and 35 grams of fat. And I love eating a breakfast like this because it really helps fuel my day. And I wake up knowing I'm gonna eat like monster cookie protein pancakes. That just sets my day up for success. This is a perfect breakfast for me that I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning and devour because I'm so excited. Before I do the taste test, if you guys wanna know exact meals and portions that I ate to lose the weight, I have two weight loss eBooks along with the guilt-free cookbook. The links are down there with the link for the Hoodle protein. So let's divide this and then put a little syrup on it for Sasser and for Goliath, that's me. Oh, yeah. I call myself Goliath. <laughs> okay, Let's Red. see what it looks like on the inside. You know, this one, because it was a taster, it didn't get uh, the M&M Minis, but it did get some chocolate chips. But see, look at the M&M Minis are there. <laughs> okay, Ray? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Mm. You wouldn't know the protein pancakes are like really fluffy. Really, I can taste the peanut butter. Even though there aren't mini M&M's, I can taste the flavor of the mini M&M's and the chocolate chips. Wow. 
that really does get my monster cookie craving out. Sass, you're gonna love this. Oh yeah. <laughs> I hope that this video helps you. If you're someone who wants to love your food and have a beautiful weight loss journey, check this out. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will catch you in the next one. Don't forget to check out this vid and this vid to see how much more I love my food every day and look lean but not lean and just... <laughs> Whoa. Love you. Peace. Catch you in the next vid. See ya. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.